Hello friends, and today I'm going to show you how to use the advanced controls option for Tahoma's new perspective tool that can really take the guesswork out of setting up your vanishing points for your perspective drawings. Let's get straight to it. And I'm going to draw in two point perspective today. So first you want to decide where you want your horizon line. And I like using the ruler to show that. So just click on the left edge of the viewer here and add a line, and we'll use that as the horizon line. And if you just add your vanishing points directly on the page here and draw a cube, you'll often find that the angles of your scene are too great. And it's like you're looking through a fisheye lens. So to fix this, you'll want to move your vanishing points off the canvas area. And you can just zoom out and guess where you want to add them, but this will just be a guess. So today I'll show you the easy way to do that. So to start, just draw the nearest edge of the object that you're drawing and it'll help you visualize the shape. And in my mind, I'm visualizing the rough shape and position of the final object as I do this. Then we can add our first vanishing point. To change to the perspective grid tool, check that the type is vanishing point and just click anywhere on screen for now. We'll adjust it shortly. And now if you tick the advanced controls, these will allow you to adjust the position of the vanishing point much easier. Let me give you a quick demo. So with the advanced controls added, you'll see these two arms appear. And each arm has a pivot point in the center and a widget on the end that moves the arm around this pivot. And what this does is allow you to move the actual vanishing point along the line of the opposite arm. And my top tip here is to move slowly at first so that you don't lose control of the vanishing point. So with that in mind, place the vanishing point on the horizon at the left hand side. And I'll hold the shift key to move all the widgets together. And then if you want to adjust the spacing and the number of rays. And it's easier to do this while the widgets are all in view. Then place the first pivot point on the horizon line also. And I'll put this a little bit further away. And now moving the end widget in the other arm, this will move the vanishing point along the horizon line. So to find the correct place for the vanishing point, place the second pivot point on one end of your drawn line. Then lengthen the adjuster widget to give you more control and then rotate this second arm using this widget to move the vanishing point further away from the canvas. And just keep going until the rays from the vanishing point show in the angle that you want from the line that you drew. So with this set, make any of the changes that you want to the line, like changing the color or the transparency. So with that explanation out of the way, let's add the second vanishing point and this time you'll see how quickly you can set one up. So again, with the vanishing point set as the type of grid that you want, place the center on the horizon line, adjust the spacing to show more or fewer rays. I'll change the color straight away. So these rays look different to the first set of rays I've added. I'll place the first arm's pivot point further along the horizon line. I'll place the second arm's pivot point on one end of the line that I drew and then extending the adjuster widget, I just move the second horizon point further to the right so that the vanishing point rays are shown at the angle that I think I need. And that's it. So now if I zoom out, you'll see how far the vanishing points are away from the canvas. So all that's left to do now is to draw your scene or object. And by setting up the vanishing points this way, it gives us a more realistic perspective. Less of the fisheye and more three dimensional. So that's the easiest way for setting up your vanishing points for working in perspective. Try it yourself and start drawing in the third dimension. And you'll find some more tips here for working in perspective. And that's a guarantee.